Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect, the Let's Play with New Rambler. Alright then, we have bureaucracy to settle by going to places and speaking to more people, because that is what this game is all about, primarily. At least the talk's interesting, though. Sometimes. Anyway, hiya, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Uh, soldiers die, miss. No, uh, he shall be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. I know. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Don't worry. You earned it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. You don't die Thanks, so easily. Commander. I appreciate that. How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. You can't have been very good friends with them then. Used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. I think you probably would get used to it, or at least numb to it. I wouldn't say used to it, I'd say, yeah, numb to it. You know, you go cold inside and you desensitize yourself to it. But, uh, yeah. The mission failed, damn it. But you did help with the failure. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Don't worry. I'm glad to have you. I want to bang you later. I mean, I want to make sure that you rise to the top of your potential. That no way has any innuendo attached to it whatsoever. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Definitely fit in my bunk, okay. Right. <clears throat> so, yes. Uh, right. So, we've done that. Thank you, Ashley. To be fair to her, though, you know, joking aside, she is actually pretty good, so... She was actually better than Jenkins, but we did order Jenkins to his death, and the fact that Captain Shepard here is... Or, uh, Commander Shepard, even, I should say, is pretty okay with it, is a bit on the odd side. But whatevers! Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, good. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Doubly good. Stop repeating your dialogue. Right, okay, anyway. Dealt with that, then. Uh, let's go this way. I can't remember the layout of the ship, so I'm probably going to end up going back and forth a bit. I do apologise. It's always a bit of a slow start to these things, but then eventually, uh... You, you do get familiar with these things. Let's talk to Captain Amberson. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Oh. Okay, well, I can do that. Yeah, I, that, that, that is true. You did ask me to do that about a week ago. I'm a bit slow, you see. A bit slow. But never mind, we'll get there. Right, uh, before we do, there is an elevator. I am not a fan of elevators. I tend to go up the stairs. Because the elevators in this game were actually quite infamous, um, I believe, for the... Uh, the loading times in between, but I thought they were pretty good, but apparently not, according to some people, anyway. Wow, frame rate's dropping like crazy. Now it's back to normal again. Oh my god, what the hell does that say? There was a thing there that said manual, wanual, companion, for the annual. There it is. What was that say? What did that say? God damn it, stupid targeting system. God, what did that nim yam thing say? No, I don't want. Oh, nav manual 1.4. 1. Okay, cool. I suppose. I guess that's great. So we can't speak to any of these crew members then, but we can look at the manual. And instead we got a codex of plus ten! Apparently that is good. I guess we can read it in the uh, entries later. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. I know. For the 40 odd minutes or so we knew him for, it was a definitive loss. I, I'm sorry about that. I, I'm not, like I said, very good. What the fuck is up with your eye, man? Oh, you're wearing the Google Glass prototype, yeah. And you as well, yeah. Yeah, whatever's. Right, anyway, uh, examine this thing. Oh, we got more codex! Oh, brilliant, lovely. It's good to do these things. Oh, look, we can spread. Oh, I was gonna say, we can spread on our ship like, uh, like a hero. Instead, we just run straight to the door. Right, before we, uh, do, um, go speak to Joker, I just wanna make sure I've. S I like to speak to everybody as, as best I can. Uh, let's just check to make sure we haven't seen, or we've seen everybody here. Ah, Dr. Chakwas! Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Goodbye! No, investigate. Uh, personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. Yeah, the tornadoes, the earthquakes, stars, the viruses, the death, the, the famine, everything. Yeah, it's very boring. Piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. It can be. My bunk's available. The Alliance, if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors, so I stayed on to do my part. Well, pretty noble of you, Doctor. Ever think you made the wrong choice? 
Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. Sounds but like there's a plan. something special about working on soldiers. Oh. No. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. It's because you get to check out the pecs and the boobies and the vaginas, don't you? Ooh, doctor, you sly girl, you. I like it. Right, Captain Anderson. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. So much so, he'll send them to their death. Good for him. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Mostly swimming certificates. to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. No, I know that. It's a difficult button to press on most PS controllers, PlayStation controllers, that is. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. They press down Lieutenant on the joystick. Lieutenant was wired with the old L2 configuration. Again, the button would get Sometimes stuck. Sometimes there are complications. Yes, like I said, the buttons would get stuck and you'd have to, like, try and fiddle around with it with your fingers or get a knife and start prying into it to pop it back into place. It was a right pain in the arse. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. <laughs> There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. <laughs> That's what he tells you. <laughs> uh, all right then. Well, I'll see you later, Doc. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. See you, my dear. You sound pretty good. Oh, my locker. What is in my locker? <gasps> a pistol and a sniper rifle. Holy. Yeah, it's worth checking out the ship. I mean, I know, like I said, it does make the LP a bit slow. and I, It is a slow-burning game, this one. A lot of stuff you've got to do, so I know it's not for everybody because I know I noticed the um, the uh, video drop from the first video to the second one was like massive. But I was like, well, I expected that really. And to be fair, you know, people tend to like uh, players doing a sort of you know fun run, you know, taking the piss. And unfortunately, with these games, the reason why I like this game so much is because I actually want to take it seriously as much as I'm taking the piss out of it now. To be fair, a I'm doing a really bad job, and b I really just like this game. <laughs> oh, look at that woman there. What's this prick doing here? Oh no, what a tosser, right? Just interrupting a conversation. I'll tell you something now. When I see him next, when his back's behind me, I'm gonna fucking stab him with my fingers. Yeah, too right, love. Well, oh, thanks very much, guys. Yeah, I'll get you fucking fired from the ship, then. Alright, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the deck, then. Let's go and tell Joker to get a fucking move on. Let's take the elevator. Infamous. Elevator sections. Watch the walls go up and down. And the loading screen. Oh no, this goes down! Oh, this goes to the ting! Oh, I forgot. Yes, this will all play a part later. Ooh, we can inspect it. <gasps> and we got codex and experience points. Lovely. <gasps> Kaiden's locker. Change the squad member's equipment, target the member's locker, and press A. Well, I'm not going to bother with that just yet. I'll probably do that off screen. It'll just be dull. Right, anyway. Oh, there's a person here. Can I speak to you? I can. The Alliance Requisition Officer. To purchase new equipment, hey, you say? Looking for some extra supplies before you head up? Yeah, sure. Uh, what fell off the back of the what lorry? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, right. So it was well, off the back of the lorry, then. As long as you don't mind paying for it. Pay you? Nah, I don't mind. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? Oh, no, that was a bit aggressive. This stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Oh, oh, right. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to be aggressive like that. But, uh, if you're just doing your job and just trying to earn a living, that that's fine. Show me a shit. What you've got. You bet, Commander. Bet command. Right, okay, um, I don't actually think we've got much money now. We've got fuck all at the moment. We've got 1460. Uh, so let's see if we can actually buy anything to give him a helping hand. We can! It's called a Medigel upgrade. That is actually quite useful. I shall purchase that. And a grenade upgrade. Again, I shall purchase that. So they're unique items, so that means we can carry now six meds and six grenades. Um, that actually is not a bad thing. Um, we can actually sell some stuff, though, thinking about it. That might be helpful. Although most things seem to be only be selling for about ten pounds, which is not really ideal. Although the bloody sniper rifle though is fifteen hundred for that. Well, we'll keep hold of our stuff for now. We'll worry about that later. 
Well, there you go. I bought a couple of things off here. That should keep you ticking over for about two seconds or so. Right, it's a good job we did take the elevator then. Oh. Right, what is it in here then? Is this where we've been already? No. Engineering. Right, okay. Engineer Adams. I request permission to talk Shame to you. about Jenkins, Commander. Will everybody stop talking about Jenkins, okay? He wasn't that great. Build integrity monitor. Oh, lovely. No, seriously, God, it's like... He's just a soldier and everybody seems to know him. He must have been a really nice chap. I feel really bad now. Yeah, thanks for making me feel better. You're fired. God knows how the ship's going to move itself, but you know what? I don't give a flying fuck after that. Cool, blimey. Oh yeah, go miss the Jenkins. We love Jenkins. Like, oh. Jesus Christ, I'm not going to say that when I'm dead, am I? Oh, well, never mind. Oh well, I'm all in the life of a commanding officer. Right, okay, let's get up on the bridge and let's go talk to uh, Le Joker because I think we've spoken to everybody. So uh, what I'll do actually is while we're here, we shall make a save file just in case. So if anybody says I've missed anything out, do let me know. We can always go back and address it. Right, now then, let's try and run a bit faster up the door. Open door, lovely. Let's make our way. Oh, wait, navigator pays. Did we speak to him before? No, we did, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah, we've it. Right, to the door. Du -du -du -du. Oh, another door. Oh, okay, there's an airlock. Du -du -du -du. Good du -du -du. timing, Commander. Oh. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. Fuck off, you were. It's been a week. Bloody hell, we are about to bring her in. Good job you got here then. You're a fucking slow pilot, yo. I suppose maybe it's a booking slot for the Mass Effect thing. Here. Perhaps you have to like, wait in line to get through. And there's our ship, the Normandy. It doesn't actually look that spacious though, but I'm sure it's bigger than it seems. And there is the Citadel. It looks just like a. I have no idea what it looks like, to be honest with you. It looks really bizarre, though. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, so oh, it's a flagship. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> he was talking about his Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by no. Oh, God damn it! He couldn't take a joke. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach, transferring you to an alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy. So yes, yeah, is the sort of. Well, it's not really the. It's not. I don't think this is purely for humans. I think everybody sort of has a place on here, all the different species and stuff. I do believe. I think that was said in the last couple of videos. I can't remember. Yeah, I think they do. At least the um, Turians do. Anyway. I think other people have places on there as well. We've only just joined it. Marvelous view, though. Again, it's, it's. I mean, I know graphically it's low res, but it's always. It's. It's. it's I, I like the design. The brilliant. council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. Well, step in then. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was yeah, well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. It's fair enough. Seems like uh, due process Captain and all that. Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the I know, I'm in my spandex e gear. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Oh, well, that's not good. Well, they're blind! No, he's dangerous. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down. I'll send them an angry note You've with chocolates! You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The I wasn't even being evaluated anyway! <laughs> you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, pictures, the Council man. use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. 
So what? I don't give a shit. Captain. I didn't even know I was going to go for it. A few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. God, he seems so pissed off, doesn't he? What a and dick. That's yeah, that's just like fucking asshole. Well, they are under a lot of stress, admittedly. They have a lot to deal with. I mean, they have to deal with the fallout of everything. But then again, that's their fucking job! <laughs> uh, follow the pulsing arrow. I've completely forgotten what the tutorial said then. I follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. So I've got to press start. Mm, is that the journal? You have to prove to the Citadel Council that Sarah and one of the Spectre agents has gone rogue. Did nobody think to take pictures? Oh, what happens? Go through the tower! Okay. But no assignments at the moment. Um. Codex wise. No, I don't want to exit game strictly. Um, we got a hell of a lot of things to read. Um, I'll probably read these towards the end of the video just to keep things flowing. So that way, then, when the video comes to a close, I'm going to stop doing stuff. I'll read all that at the end so you can cut that bit out then, if you so wish. I think that might be the best way to deal with that sort of reading stuff. Unless people have better ideas, in which case, do let me know. Ooh, computer console. Easy decryption. Well, don't mind if I do. Oops. Oops, I can pause this one up. Shit. Nope, that went wrong. Oh, I haven't got enough Omni Gel. No! Oh, well, we can get some more later. That's a bit of a bummer. I forgot it takes up Omni Gel. Actually, wait, I can turn stuff into Omni Gel, can't I? Wait a minute! Where's my equipment? I well, I can turn it into Omni Gel. Yes, Omni Gel 4. Here we go. So, let's see, what have we got for assault rifles? Which one's the best one? Uh, we've currently got the Banshee 2 and all these are shit, so let's turn these into Omnigel. I know we can sell these, but I'm not going to bother, really. There we go. Uh, shotgun. Uh, let's have a look. Does more damage, less accurate, though. Keep it on the back burner. Striker 2. We've got the Kessler 1, and we should equip that. How do I do that? Okay, we've done that. Uh, skim into shotgun. Yeah, we need to keep the accurate one for now until our accuracy of shotguns get better. Um, all these pistols we can get rid of, though, so that's sod this and turn into Omni Gel. Again, I know we can sell these, but they're like worth 10 quid anyway. What's the fucking point? Um, keep the Hammer 3. It is way, it's actually way better. I think we should equip that. So let's equip the Hammer 3. And then we'll sell that and sell that. I know, you know, other agent, you know, other people in our team can use the equipment as well, but yeah, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Um, I'll worry about the armor later. That should be enough for um, Omni Jump. Yeah, there we go. If we save it, so if we go a bit wrong, we can always reload and go it again, because I forgot to save beforehand. I should always save before I hack shit. Okay, here we go again then. Override using 20. Oh, I've got to override it because I couldn't do it before. Okay, that sucks, but never mind. Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. Unfortunately, their warehouse belts ran out and they couldn't get the stuff out of the warehouse to give to the customers. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before a team could investigate further. They weren't allowed to go on the conveyor belt. It's a uh, no-go no policy. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? I don't know. I will assume yes. Right, okay, what we'll do then, we'll just have a wander around here for a bit then, I guess. Uh, there's no real rush to get to anywhere, so uh, yeah, let's roll. It's a great place to sit down, I like this place. I mean, I know, again, it's a bit slow to have to navigate through it all, but it is pretty cool. It's got some really exotic creatures here. These allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. You can't just like... Really, it's loud. I spoke with the police of the I don't know who's actually speaking at the moment. Right. That guy over there? I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Interesting. Right, I think these buggy dudes, they... I think they've always been on the Citadel. They kind of, like, maintain things. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Right, well, let's go speak to these crazy dudes. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Oh, well, what a Just twat. So I was going to come to you to replace him. Don't be so rude, Dan. Yeah, At least dick. introduce yourself. 
<laughs> Sounds like a space version of Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Pfft, no thanks. Actually, yeah. Let's uh, let's talk about stuff then. Um, what is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Oh, Your lovely. The ambassador is next door. Yeah, I know in that. Office. I fucking know that. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Yeah, well, tough fucking shit. Everybody's treating humans like fucking crap. And I will admit, to be fair, you've all got a point. But I'm a human. I should defend my race with integrity. So I'm going to annoy you a little bit more. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Then tell me. I am prepared to be bored. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. Mm. However, Very despite boring. our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Oh, that's why you're cranky, right? Not so. Neither do we. What a bunch of toffs, anyway. Uh, more about. Actually, I would like to. Oh no, we read that. Fuck no. My people. However. Yep. Sorry. Despite our long association uh, with the Citadel and our many let's talk contributions about to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Get some chocolates. That usually works. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising I wonder why. Rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. <laughs> I highly doubt that. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Uh, fair enough. I'm not going to ask him why he's cranky, because that's obviously pretty obvious. So I think we should do... Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Yeah, well, look, brighten up your attitude, bro. Brighten up your attitude, and maybe they'll pay attention. Okay, like this dude, Kalen or Kalin or whatever the fuck his name is. Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. This guy's a legend, okay? I like him. He should be on the council. I'd totally listen to him. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I it is? Am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Um... <laughs> Your speech sounds oddly familiar. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Oh. Finally, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Gotcha. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. He fucking burned you, man. This guy is the shit. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. Oh, lovely. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Good. Well, the then let, let's let us do this then. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. <laughs> 
active species, you say? <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. I don't think we actually Frankly, talked about that with the other guy. I think I'll just double check the that. The Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society yeah, I can is built on small, well, tight-knit but even so. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. So don't play pin the tail on the donkey with you. Gotcha. Uh, what do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the council. Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Just you probably don't, rebuke. actually. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. This dude is awesome. I like him. What's your name? Callin. I, I shall try and remember you, Callin. I like you. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time That's lovely. in the Citadel. I shall try. Thank you, Callin. Right, you, dickhead. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it now? Uh, oh, I was going to talk about your culture, but I don't think I can. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. I am wasting your time, Goodbye, sorry. Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Yeah, sorry about that. Hello, oh, Zelzin, hello. Human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Well, then allow me to distract you. What is wrong, good you sir? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? Uh, bits of it. I wasn't really paying so attention. Wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Tell me, tell me, sit down. Tell me what happened. It's, it's alright, we can talk this what out. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say... She has compromised my authority as a diplomat. I understand. Where the fuck is she? I'll beat some shit into her. Where can you. I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. I don't fucking see them. There's all these bloody trees. Are you telling me her office is in the tree, sir? Oh, fair enough. I suppose. Uh... I suppose we'll go and handle that in a moment then. Right, okay, well that killed some time, so let's uh, let's roll on. Yeah, this is probably going to be the majority of the video, just talking to people. And like I said, it's, I like to try and explore this game and its sequel with as much detail as possible, because it's, it is very interesting, in my opinion. I'm not, I know it's a bit of a boring LP as a result of it, but I know people will chastise me and have a go at me if I don't do it, and then people will chastise me if I do do it. It's like it's a losing battle, so I'm like, nah, fuck it. I'm just going to enjoy myself, and if people want to watch, that's lovely. If they don't, I don't mind. Maybe later, my dear. I have things to do. Right. Embassy receptionist lady. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. I know. I was fucking the... Never mind. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Is it? It's Richard Jenkins, isn't it? I'm sorry I got him killed, alright? It's just... It just happened! I know everybody in the fucking universe seems to love this guy. I'm sorry, alright? God damn it. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you He's have nice eyes, by the way. Please access Avina. No, I'm gonna ask you, bitch. Alright, Avina, who is she? What's that? Oh, Avina that? is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. No, I want to ask you. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name hang is Etheria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Fair enough. In fact... Uh, in that case then, my dear, if you are busy, I shall take my leave. Thank you for your time. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. I will. Thank you. See, you're friendly. I like you. Don't worry about the trillions of citizens. I can guarantee about 99% of them are knobheads. It's fine. Right, well, we'll talk to Avina in a moment. What I'd like to do is go up this vein and see if we can find, uh, 
these offices of uh, this is sorry forget the name of the lady but still um, I think they're sorry are the blue people the blue ladies and I think they're all female as well if I do recall and I also think they can have sex with anybody in anything and they shall recreate appropriately um, so they can have uh, you know heterosexual lesbian sex and all that um, and I think even with two lady asaris or asaris that are lady in question that I think they can reproduce as well like their, bi their bi biology and their body changes depending on which partner it is it's quite interesting anyway hello diplomat lady I can't believe I landed a job here this place is fantastic yeah you won one of those labor lotteries didn't you I remember the time when I won one back in Astotska it was a good time in my life uh, oh codex entry that's fine codex entry Guy working, buggy working. Can I speak to you, Elk or Diplomat? Delighted. Welcome. It is good to meet you. It is good to meet you too. I must say, though, for your race, you're all very similar to one another. But I do like you. It's good to meet allies. I can make friends with E or Space, but Spacey also to speak with. They're great. Right, it doesn't seem to be. Don't, don't pull out your weapon, you plonker! I was finding the wrong button to sprint. My bad. God almighty, it's welcome, it's lovely to see you. Kill them all! No, no, Shepard, no, calm down. Run away. Right, uh, let's go this way then. I'm several doors here. Ooh, executor pallet. That, that, oh, executor pallet, that's probably what it means. Alright, get to just bother him. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. Um, <laughs> I go where I want. <laughs> Uh, no. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your aye fingers aye. into someone else's pie. Is well, it's very pleasurable. Expression? You should try it sometime. Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was That's all right. If you want some can. practice, let me know. Um, yes. Uh, I've got any pies to stick fingers in? I, I, I kind of, I've got a bit of a craving. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You That's humans enough. are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being wow. given a lot. If the government wants know. to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. We're not favorites! They just want us as a whipping boy. Seriously, they really do. They just want us in cages to do bondage shit. It's pretty weird. Anyway, uh, uh, uh specters and what things. What do you know about the specters? They're the right hand of the counselor, so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. <gasps> what do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. They are the law! The law! Left up to the law. individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. It's a bit naive. No, that's fair enough. Uh, about Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Mm, fair enough. Uh, investigation? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. God damn it, our charm skill just isn't high enough. Fair I'll enough. Going I'll see you later, old buddy. Commander. I'm just going to snoop around your office, hope you don't mind. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, it's a lovely view. Look at this view! I mean, this was on the 360 back in the day, and it was impressive. At least I thought so, anyway. I mean, I know it's, again, relatively low res, but I really like the scope of the worlds and all that. It was very, very enjoyable to view. I liked the fact that they gave the world a heck of a bit of depth, you know. I mean, I know there's been bigger worlds than this, but I liked it. I just think it had the right balance of depth and sort of containment. It was good. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I felt, I felt very uh, involved in the game. Well, I'm just going to hack your computer over here. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to save the game just so uh, if we fuck it up and uh, we can uh, get around it. Right, let's try this again then. Again, manual override or use 25 o uh, Omnijar. I don't want to do that, so let's, uh, let's try it over. Shit. What? That was a. Shit. Oh, bollocks. Load! <laughs> I know, I shouldn't do this. Uh, which was this one, wasn't it? Uh, loading, 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 loading! 
Fucking hell, game. Come on, you're only. But what, what, when did you come out? 2008? Whatever it was? Oh. It's thinking about it. Right, okay. Begin manual override. Change the course of history. Boom! Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from untraceable accounts, multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand us, if you tolerate us, we must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eater Cluster. Only as one body can we fight the wrongs done to our kind. Come Sorry. That's because I watched um, the Star Trek episode. I think it was the first or second season of the original series. And you met Khan. I don't know who the guy is who acted as Khan in that episode and in the film as well, Star Trek 2. He's a fucking good actor, man. Nobody else could have played the part of, played the part of Khan. He was a really intimidating bloke. He is in multiple movies and multiple things. I've seen him in another movie somewhere, but he's a bloody good actor. Let's check him out. Mr. Diplomat. That seems strange. There's more, more humans around. Well, it might be. Give it time. Fussy. You should be experimenting with all these aliens, I would be. Aliens. Sexy aliens. Lovely aliens. I totally would bang them. But anyway. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Talked at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's. She's. You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut <laughs> up, Fredericks. This is a really bizarre conversation. You're just trying to be at what the fuck? Private Fredericks, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, Commander. Yep, dickhead. There's something I could do for you. Relax, Private. You this need to put your anything. penis in right, something sorry. to get your virginity What can I do lost. for you, Commander? Who the fuck is this consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Fuck you now. She must be some pretty hot Can you at though. least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. She just got burned, bro. <laughs> Ashley, you dog. Right, anyway, uh, let's see. There's a console here. I'm just going to pause the video for a moment. I'm just going to go deal with something in the background. And then we shall continue our exploration of the Citadel and talking to people. Riveting stuff, I know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing about it. I'm finding it interesting anyway. Right, back to the mo. If you can hear a scratchy noise in the background, that is my dog scratching on the floor because she's trying to annoy me. She'll stop in a bit. Anyway, right, with that being said and done, let's speak to this Nasana. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. You made me eat my dinner, a tasty dinner of one pound Iceland lasagna, oven cooked with some green beans, and conversation with my family. Just so when I come back, you say, oh, there's time for you and talking. What a bitch! Bartender, a drink, please. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Yes, please. What have you got? Information, mostly. Oh, fuck. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? No, I want you to give me some fucking booze. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Well, I would have listened to you in everything, but unfortunately, my dog was scratching. But never mind. Right. What is Shaira's? The consort, uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Ah, we need to Most of the her. diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Mm, fair enough. Tell me about Flux and Cora's dance. She's the village well, bicycle. Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Sounds fan fucking tastic. Let's go there. Goodbye. <laughs> so long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Thank you, bartender. Although I wished for booze, you actually have given me places of intrigue to visit. Fair D Wells. Right, okay. Um we'll go this way then. 
No, no, it's just a thing with a thing. I can't help but wonder there's like a side quest that involves these things, with these computer terminals. I can't remember. I could be wrong. Right, okay. We need to take a tour of this place with that virtual assistant. So that we can find these places. It might be that we can't access them yet because we've got to go to the council and, you know. Oh no, we definitely did not do the thing you accuse us of doing. It was your comrade in arms. Thank you, my creepy hologrammatic person. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Why are they always women? Or women-like creatures with skimpy outfits? So are you a person Not or really a program? Not really complaining, but still. I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. You should demand better pay. to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Ooh. Uh, let us uh, talk about CSEC. I want to know more about Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. Ooh. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. I've already met him. Seems like a nice chap. He just hates humans, but eh, can't blame him. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. It's a very uh, precise extent, figure for a rough figure. Have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. I know, I know we're a bunch of pricks, I get it, alright? Why were we opposed then? Actually, no, why were the Volus first? How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. Eh, fair enough, makes sense they, they get something They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. That eh, makes sense. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Just an embassy? Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. It would well, thank be you for unfair letting me to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. <laughs> so even though they've basically standardised the galactic economy and they are, as you say, the most populous of species around here and have pretty much sort of helped all this get up to going in the first place, <laughs> they're still a lesser species. Fucking hell. Basically keep the grunts down, keep the privileged twats at the top. Never changes, does it? Even when we meet alien races, if we ever meet alien races, they're still like us. They're all a bunch of dicks, which is why globalization is a dickish idea, because I don't want to mingle with foreign dicks. It just doesn't really atone to me. I'm quite happy to meet some of them and make friends with them, of course. I'm quite happy for them to do things and all that, but I don't want to be integrated. And I'm sure as hell they don't want to be integrated with me either. You know, it's a two-way fucking street. Yeah, the same. But anyway, that's me just being an old dinosaur. Lesser species! That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. <laughs> That's Why true. were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. Yeah, which the is Council them, gave a great deal of thought to this matter. 
In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. I doubt you can say, but what do you think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, um, let's get back to brass tacks. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Sounds... that what that statement says. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Now where's the complaints office? Talk, dammit! My coding will not let me tell you where this complaints office is. Basically, she just brought out my inner racist. <laughs> what a bitch. Alright, never mind. Um, let's roll in. Not their fault, I quite like her actually. Uh, let's see. Ah, directions. Uh, use uh, rapid transport to jump between major locations. To explore this, there more locations will unlock. Oh, okay. So we can't do that until we've actually explored it. I guess it makes sense. Um, travel. Uh, let's leave that for now. Let's go and explore. Uh, so that's Citadel Tower at Seasec Academy. I don't think we want to go to the tower yet. Although having said that, I don't know actually, do we want to go to the tower? Not sure. To Embassy. Well, we'll go this way anyway, let's see what happens. Seasec um, and all that, yeah. Let's run our way because it's getting dull and boring now. Well, that's it. I really, again, I really like the way the game lays out its worlds here. I quite enjoy it. I think it's very well done. It is very basic, but in a nice way. It's good. It's very good. Look at this guy just chilling there. Look at him. Chilling away. And me glitching somewhat. Sorry about that. Yeah, look at him. Look how chilled he is. Really, really cool. I like it. Right, anyways. Um, embassies, back to the tower. I think... We've got to take the lifts. I'm not going to take the lifts as of yet, because if that is the tower, I don't know if it is or not. I'm not interested. We've got to keep walking around, see if we can find more stuff. Ah, oh, a couple on their first days. Oh, probably not, actually. No, probably talking about professional stuff. You got fucking hell frame rate. Come on. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? I don't know. It's called a keeper, and I think they live here. Let's examine. <laughs> Please do not disturb the keepers. Examining. Please do not disturb the keepers. Examining! Please do not disturb the keepers. Oh, gosh, I'm no fun. Go on, Enavina. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Lovely. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Bloody hell, this for a few bunch of bugs? God, the world has gone mad, I thought I had. I have to say though, uh, Avena, she's like a bloody... She's like a Terminator ghost. You imagine a Terminator died and the ghost lingered about afterwards. That's what she reminds me of. Ghostly Terminator. That's some scary shit. 
Anyway, um, let's talk about some stuff. Tell me about the relay monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the relay monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. It's because it what looks is like the a meaning penis. behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? No, I think it's about or penis. Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity. A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No, I think it's a big penis. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. It's a penis! There you go. End of argument. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. Okay. What about I'd council like to chambers? hear more about the council chambers. Mm. Are they the big? Spacious? Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. Do they have mini bars? The council chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold. They do? So few get to experience the view in person. God damn it. Typically, only the councillors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. <laughs> so that's everybody, then. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through, go through their channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Fair enough. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. Yeah, that makes sense. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. Bloody hell. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The council chambers themselves are truly right, sorry. magnificent. Oh, skip, skip, to be skip. Typically, I've already seen that bit. Only counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. Sorry, it's because I didn't catch the first bit. I desensitized a bit, getting a bit tired. I'm sorry to have an audience with the council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank I think... you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> I, I like her. She's definitely a sassy bitch. And she's just like, I can't do it because of my programming. But she definitely has opinions. I like that. I really... I, I, that's the only problem with AI, though. I, I, I don't feel comfortable if you have... so Even with, like, current technology, like with um, these home... Uh, these smart speakers now and all this, like, Siri and Alexa and uh, Google talk whatever the fuck it's called type ai stuff and it's very primitive at the moment but i don't feel comfortable using it because it feels to me like i'm still using them in a sort of slave master capacity and i know you could argue oh well it's ai it's not real I, it just never feels comfortable for me i can't do that i'd have to pay them and treat them like an equal and i know that sounds a bit odd but if i ever truly ever get a chance to meet a proper artificial intelligence even if it's like a really basic thing i would still treat it as an equal because if it can think for itself and come up with thoughts and emotions and stuff like that as a result um yeah I, I, even if it's a fucking toaster i couldn't make it a slave make me toast slave I did, no i can't do it it's not in my i suppose it's just not in my personality to do it it just feels really uncomfortable i just don't like doing it so that's why i stay away from ai <clears throat> Personally, for me, AI is actually superior to me. I don't feel like I should be the one telling it to do stuff. I just think it's wrong. But I don't go lecturing people on it, saying, well, you shouldn't do it. Most people are comfortable with it. Don't bat an eyelid. That's fine. No problem with it at all. Um, unfortunately, this game does, though, with the fucking frame rate, so I might have to dumb down some of the graphics for the next uh, video, but that's okay. But anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like it. It's weird. And I suppose you could argue video games are a similar thing, but I've paid for it, so I've given it money. Jesus Christ, game! Fuck! Right, okay, I'm going to see if the... I don't know what's causing it. It could be that maybe there's an update for Steam and it needs to... Uh, it needs to uh, source it out. I'm going to turn the film game off, because maybe that will sort it out. We'll see what happens. Right, okay. 
Let's see what happens then. Let's see if it works a bit smoother. It probably won't. Uh, it probably won't, but we'll see. It's probably because, like I said, my laptop's quite ancient, so it could be that. I don't know. There is a dude here. Balavon. Let me speak to you. Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one. Yes, you are the one called Shepherd. For fuck's sake, I'm sorry about Richard, all right? I know everybody loves him! Truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. Oh, you're talking about my past story that I made up for this character that I actually have no idea about. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I think we did read about it, and I completely forgot what it was. It was that interesting. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Why am I important? I didn't do Tell shit. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, Ah, I, I see. Expertise. Gotcha. I also offer premium there. services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. Oh, I see. So you're That's like a... Uh... Oh, God, what are you? You're a money launderer. Sounds pretty, pretty much a launderer. Everything I Sounds do awesome. falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, tax many evasion. of my clients would prefer no, that transactions remain Is it tax avoidance or tax evasion? I can't remember which one is the legal one. For example, <clears throat> suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. How? I'm sure somebody would still hack still it. Still sounds find shady out. to me. Then we can I suppose, only hope you will um, be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. <laughs> I shouldn't be. To be fair, when it comes to stuff like this, it is really bad. And when I say really bad, I mean not so much. Oh, it's illegal! You'll get caught to jail. I mean, it's bad as in morally bad because you, you, you. You, you essentially avoid paying for services that people rely on just because you make a load of money, and it's fucking wrong, man. I mean, I know, I know, there's a lot of arguments against avoiding paying tax and all... Uh, against paying tax and all that shit, you know. It's it's corrupt and everything. And to be fair, we're both all guilty of it. But it is one of the main ways to fund things for the people who do need it. And I just think it's wrong that people will hide their shit. I mean, I know in his example there, that's not really about what he was asking about. He was saying, you know, oh, he was just saying... You know, pol political wise, he was trying to do something to help his people, and, and even if that was the case, he's also getting a bit of personal gain out of it, so it's like a win win for him. It's still shit, you know, but at the same time, if anybody was in the position where they could do that um, and, and profit from it and then get people to hide their accounts, because I know in the world of finance, it's fucking complex, because basically they can. It's, it is really hard to try and trace if you're looking for you know, rich people's accounts and if they're not paying money to the right place, they're not paying their taxes properly and everything. It is so hard to pin them because if they bounce their money, they literally just bounce their money around everywhere in certain places and certain businesses and all that. And it's totally legal because they're not doing anything illegal. And um, yeah, it's fucking horrible. But it, it, on the current law scale, like, you know, these big companies that don't pay very much tax, it's it's completely legal within law. It's so clever. And it's just literally like a, a web of deceit, you know, and trying to untangle that web is a nightmare. It is really tricky. So the actual process itself, I assume, is quite tedious. Like, it's not like you don't need to be... You have to know the ins and outs of the law and know the ins and outs of finance and how banks work and all that stuff. Yeah, definitely. And that would probably require quite a large brain to comprehend and understand all of these rules and regulations and tips of the trade. I'm not saying that they're like rocket science or anything, but it's certainly a lot to deal with. And then you've got to be clever enough to, you know, work through them, read between the lines and all that. It, I have to admit, I am fascinated and I do admire them in a bad way, but I do admire it. It's, it's impressive. It just goes to show we are corrupt as a species altogether. We're all assholes. I know. 
magic, right? Right, anyway, sorry. Don't mean to go on a tirade. I've already been racist tonight, and now I'm being uh, a, a financial wanker. Let's um, let's move along, shall we? <laughs> let's keep this positive train of flow. Keep going. Um, Tell me more about question. your job. Galactic finances. Oh, no. Read that again. Damn it, I'm not concentrating. I'm getting tired. Those clients who need uh, citizen. Like living here on the nope, citadel. don't care. The station there is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel. But its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. I'm not an elite, I'm a wanker! I let Richard Jenkins die, damn it! I know my past might be glorious and fascinating and elevated me somewhat, but I let Jenkins die! I'm never going to be able to let that go! Like the cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Should go. Fair enough. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, sorry to be self-righteous and all that. My bad. I'm an asshole. Case in point. Right, anyway... No, nope, frame rate's still going bad, at least not the film grain effect then, but uh, we'll turn it off if we have to for now. Uh, we'll finish up in a bit. Uh, I think what we'll do, because I'm getting a bit tired, is... Oh yeah, this thing. The Emporium Shopkeeper. This is bizarre. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. <laughs> so long. Personal question. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. You're like a big giant jellyfish clitoris. This is bizarre. Don't items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. So non-human armors and view upgrades. All right, let's have a look at the upgrades then. Yes. So we've got a weapon upgrade, combat sensor two, seven hundred. Yeah. Uh, first aid interface. Microprocessor is wired into a combat suit can monitor vital functions and release small localized doses of medigel. That's quite useful, actually. Um, and then shield battery uh, to connect uh, to get shield stuff. Okay, those are quite useful, but I'm not going to buy them just yet. Thank you, and shop, uh, uh, shopkeeper guy. I'll come back to you at a later date, I think. One of those ones that we can ignore for now, but we shall revisit. Right, let's, um, let's go to these stairs. I wonder if they lead us to probably a dead end. I know why the game's struggling, it's because it loads up each section as you go up it, and, and it's probably, like I said, it could be my hard drive, it could be, um, uh, because it does cl make clicky noises, it's definitely on its way out. It could be Steam needing an update, I don't know. But either way, no, this is just the warehouse bit, isn't it? Oh, my bad, sorry. Sorry, just, just checking you sell stuff, that's all I'm interested in. Okay, uh, I will revisit you at a later date, I was just curious, because you're a big floaty, um, Thing. Right, so I can remember the key term for it. Ugh, I'm tired. Um, right. What is up here? I wonder if we've just gone in a big loop now. I don't think we have. He never knows. I'm actually just trying to find this Zari woman to speak. Oh god, this fucking game. I'm just trying to. Um... Right, so that's going back to the embassies. We don't want to do that. Oh, I'm so sorry about the frame rate. I'm going to have to fix this next time. Oh, yeah, I'll have to drop down the graphics, I think. Again, it could be, um... How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. We'll kill them all then! What's I gonna do? Yeah, I think these guys. I don't know if they're actually evil or not. I can't remember. Well, I don't think they're evil, but they're. I don't think they're trustworthy in the end. Again, I can't remember. I could be wrong on that one. I think we do get to explore them again at a later point, but even so. 
Hello. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. You are definitely you like coming me to on to me. See when the consort will be able to meet with you. Uh, appointment? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Okay. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. <laughs> what? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Uh, personal questions. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. Uh, it's our job to ensure that they leave contented. And how do you manage that? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. <laughs> we should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. <laughs> Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> Well, that's oh, not for me to same judge. thing. That's quite I have your name and you'll be contacted. Right, let's just skip do you do these. I'll see what the other uh, options are. It's our job to ensure what exactly? My specialty is tech. I'd like Excellent. to try. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be oh, able to see right. you. Oh, right. the right. What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Oh, she drugs them. Got it. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Yeah, I would do. I've got to wait three to four fucking months. People are waiting three to four months for me to get on with this fucking game. I think I'm Unless done they've been offended and they've left, oh, in which case well, I don't I blame you. I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Holy shit! Yes, of course, mistress. Um, okay. Engage in provocative walking sh uh, shooting. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. All right. Well, that was a very sexy walk she had just then. Not that I would know personally, but I have camera view eyes, so I can see whatever the camera's pointing at. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Oh, well, thank you. You're quite pleasant, actually. I quite like the sound of it. You've got a nice voice. You say your, t your, your skill is touch, but I think it's your voice as well. I think you might be lying. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, let's roll on. So, yeah, it's basically like an advanced sort of brothelly place, I guess. But why? Well, she says it's, she's everything to everyone, isn't she? But uh, whatever. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. But, yeah, I'm guessing it's like... I wouldn't say a brothel, but I'm guessing it's like... Um, it, it's like, it's not a brothel, it's like one of those places whereby you're mega rich, but you just want company. It's that kind of place where it's not necessarily physical company, you want just company, and uh, they provide it for you. I'm, I'm kind of guessing that's what it's all about. It's not really about the sex or anything. I'm not saying that she can't do that, or they don't do it. But yeah, I think that's kind of what this place is like. It's basically a very snobby brothel, but a bit more, I'm sure it's a bit more complex than that. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Is he the guy who's trying to get in and bone your consort? Because if he is, he's a naughty, naughty boy. So am I. <laughs> Game is loading, loading, loading. I can't, I can't remember anything about this. I think basically we just do a mission for her or she sets us up on a quest or something like that. So I think we're both the wrong But anyways, let's go and have a chat with her then, see if we can help her out. Hello. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Um, Jenkins was not my fault! Or oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry I loved him like a brother. 
How much more persecution am I going to go through about this? All right. I'm sorry. He was a great chap. He should be here and not me. In fact, after this, I'm going to go kill myself. God damn it. Anyway, who are you? What do you want? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. I knew it. All right, then. Go on. Then what do you want? Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. It sounds like a blood disease. Details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Oh. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Gotcha. You if want you me to shut speak him up? To him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. You don't have to stroke my face to flirt me with it. I'll do it, girl. Don't worry about it. Anyway, what went wrong? I need to know more. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Yeah, fair enough. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince <laughs> him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. <laughs> Fine. Hugging and stroking of the chins is definitely going now to do so. Now I must so. ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. <laughs> okay, sure. You're a very weird woman. Well, woman-like creature. I don't understand why people think you're sexy. That is odd. So, if you could help me out, I'd be very grateful. Cheek rub, cheek hug. What the fuck was that? I'd just be there going. Look, I get it. you got the power of touch, speech, and everything. You can lure and basically do everything. You know, get everyone to basically be your bitch. But, dude, fucking weird, yo. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, we'll probably do that next video because I just want to finish up our tour around the citadel, and then we'll see if we can do it. In fact, if anything, we will because we won't go to the wards just yet. A, I'm not sure if we can get access to the wards as of yet, but I'm pretty sure we can. If we have a look at our codex, uh, no, that's the wrong one. Journal, sorry. Yeah, assignments. Um, yeah, so. We can view the tasks assigned to it as well. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, I think we'll probably end it here, I think. Because I think now, apart from the wards, which I'm not sure where they are, I can go look for them off screen. Um, we'll go and check out the wards if we can. I think we can. <coughs> I'm just not sure where it is. Oh, to the financial district. Oh, we've been there, though, haven't we? Yeah, we've just been there, haven't we? So yeah, this is where we were before. This takes us back to the academy. Right, yeah, this is right. This is back where we were. So can I take the rapid transport to the wards then? I can. The wards access then. All right, let's let's go there then. Because I don't know. Maybe we've already been there and I've just walked past it. I'm not sure. You arrived at the Presidium Plaza. Proceed downstairs to reach the wards. Right. So I think we've skipped this bit. God, the loading! Come on, game! Jesus! It's obviously probably just not a very good PC port. Or, again, most likely it's my laptop. Again, I'll have to dumb down the graphics. Or it could be... Yeah, it's probably that. Oh, what? We must talk to the council to gain access to the world. Oh, what a fucking cock tease. Oh, all right. We'll do that next time, then. So I guess next time, then, we must make... A Come on! Next time, then, we will make our way to the Citadel Tower. And we shall, um... Glitch our way over, and we'll speak to uh, we'll speak to the council then. But yeah, anyway, well, there's our tour of the citadel for now. Then yeah, it's vaguely familiar. Some bits I don't remember. I don't remember the console at all, so that's neat. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, if you have stuck to the end and you weren't offended by my previous comments, because I thank you very much. I do appreciate it, and it's very nice for people to join me on this uh, journey. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go away now, I'll go to bed, and just regret my whole entire life decisions and everything I've said before. So until then, uh, take it easy, have a good one, hope you're all well, and I mean that sincerely, and um, maybe I'll see you in the next video, or maybe I'll just be going solo. I'll probably be going solo, but you know what? Fuck it, I'm mad, and you know what? It's a free world, I think. Unless China has its way. Hmm. Oh well, anyway, until I lose my ability to be free, have a good one, see you in the next video. Bye for now.